Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome back to another video series of the clinical skills on the manual vacuum aspiration. Today I am going to uh, conduct a session on the manual vacuum aspirations, how it works, what are the parts of manual vacuum aspiration. This is the manual vacuum aspiration. It consists of the two parts, the syringe with plunger and valve with valve button. These are the cannulas. So one by one, I'll tell you what are the parts of this syringe and the valve. Look this, this is the valve. This hole is the valve. This is the valve clasp. This is the valve clasp. These are the valve buttons with thumb impressions. We put our thumb here with thumb impressions. This is the cap called valve cap. And these are the valve cap releasing button. These are, look this. These are the valve cap, cap releasing button. So how I open or disassemble this valve, I'll see this. This is the valve releasing button. Press this button downward like this. And with this dominant hand, hold on this cape. Cape is released. Right? So see again. Valve releasing button from both side with the thumb and the index finger. Press this button downward and with the dominant hand release the cap. So how I open this valve, hold with this clasp with the two thumbs. See here, hold clasp and open like this is the inner lining of valve this is the inner lining of valve we put this line inside the valve aap dekh le ki ye agar hum sahi tarike se nahi dalenge to ye toot jayegi so there is serrations, there is the markings, we put this valve marking on this serrations, so until ye apni jaga pe fit nahi ho jate, ye sahi nahi jayega, so keep this on their level, look this. And then close it again. Close. How I open this? Close. How I open? See it again. This is the disassembling of the valve. This is the 60 cc syringe. It contains the volume of 60 ml. See the marking here. This is the marking of up to 60 ml. So it creates the vacuum of 610 to 660 millimeter of mercury that is equal to the vacuum pressure generated by electrical vacuum machine. So this is the 60 milliliter syringe made up of latex free plastic. This is the latex free plastic. This is the plunger. This is the plunger. This is the syringe. This is the syringe base. And this is the collar stop. See this? This is the collar stop. 
this is the how we put this collar stop and there is holes for fixing of this collar stop see here this collar stop is fixed here so this is the 60 ml syringe this is the collar stop and this is the base of 60 ml syringe this is the plunger this is the plunger these are the arms of the plunger and this is the handle of plunger this is the handle of plunger these are the arms of the plunger and this is the o-ring this black is the o-ring that is necessary for the creation of the vacuum how we disassemble this o-ring keep with index and thumb finger keep it forward with the thumb of the opposite hand keep it down agar hum isko upar ki taraf karenge to ye gum ho jayega ye miss ho jayega so it's better to keep it down clean karne mein hame aasani hogi with the toothbrush or small brush we can clean this and we apply the silicone drop to this o ring for as a lubricant and then again keep o ring in their position it's a clear now so this is how we disassemble and these are the parts of manual vacuum aspiration how we assemble this once this is the sterilized after sterilization in the sterilized trolley with bearing the glass you have to assemble this manual vacuum aspiration syringe first you have to put this plunger keep this plunger arms close open this collar stopper from their holes so this will go inside assemble the well see here assemble the cape and the cape releasing button and now see this now is a single line and assemble this syringe with the valve and make sure to keep all parts in the same alignment this clasp and these numbers are in the same line these clasps and these this clasps cape cape clasps and the number of the syringe in the same alignment in the horizontal alignment in the same alignment these well buttons this base of the syringe and the plunger are in the same alignment this well button this base of the syringe and this plunger are in the same alignment if the alignment is not same it will not function properly see here if we are doing this so this valve is turned out if we are doing this this will not do right okay so keep all this in the same alignment see it again if they are not in the same alignment like this see here the valve is turning jab hum isko aise se turn karte hain to ye valve bhi apni jagah se turn hota ja raha hai theek hai so keep all these in the same alignment so this is how we assemble the manual vacuum aspiration syringe these are the cannulas, the I-pass cannulas. This is called this is called the double valve or bi-valve syringe, and this is the newer version of the manual vacuum aspiration syringe. Previously, it was the uni valve like this. There is a single valve, but this is the newer version. And how we create the vacuum? How we create the vacuum? 
we first lock the well button put two thumbs on this two well button push it back and then up kaise kiya dobara se kare push these two button back and up theek hai फिर आपने क्या करना है वैक्यूम क्रिएट करना है वैक्यूम कैसे क्रिएट करना है पुल प्लंजर विथ प्लंजर हैंडल एंड दीज प्लंजर आर्म शुड बी रेस्ट ऑन सरेंज हैंडल दीज प्लंजर आर्म शुड बी हेल्ड ऑन प्लंजर हैंडल सो इन दिस वे नाउ इट्स वेरी क्लियर के वेल्व के द क्लेस दिज ऑल नंबर्स और इन द सेम अलाइनमेंट दिस टू वेल्व बटन दिस हैंडल एंड दिस दिस आर्म्स दिस हैंडल दिस ऑल और इन द सेम हॉरिजेंटल अलाइनमेंट दिज और इन वर्टिकल दिज और इन हॉरिजेंटल अलाइनमेंट so in this way the vacuum is created now clearly for vacuum aspiration see here once we introduce whether this vacuum is functioning or not functioning we release the valve button with this See this with the negative pressure. This will suck all the things which are present, or all the RPOCs which are present inside the uterus. So vacuum is functioning. The vacuum is created. This is the clear. This device is functioning. Again, I am charging. You have to see this. How I charge it. so device is charged these are the cannulas they are of different size so they are used according to the gestational age this is the number 4 these cannulas are of the same length they are a different color ready so these are the cannulas these are the cannulas starting from number 4 see there here the number the marking of the numbers 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 12 there is no 11 number so start from the 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 12 each cannula is coated with a color colorful cape this is the coloring coating of the cape this so agar kabhi kabhi ye number mit chahe to we remember that this yellow one is number 4 this green one is number 5 this blue one is number 6 brown light brown white dark brown according to their color marking we can remember this to jitna jitna size iska kam hoga aperture bhi utna hi kam hoga see here this cannula is with aperture opening these all jaise jaise iska size bada hoga ye aperture ka size bhi bada hota jayega theek hai clear and this is the blend this is not sharp this is the blend so this cannula is uh, having a mark markings This is about six centimeter. Markings are start from six centimeter from the aperture. See here, these four fingers are equal to the six centimeter. The first marking, then they are one centimeter, one centimeter for each marking. So when we assess the size of the uterus, like this. So see, this is the five centimeter, six centimeter, seven, eight, nine, ten, whatever the centimeter of the size of the uterus. So measure this, and uh, uh, we put this cannula according to the gestational age. अगर पांच weeks का है, six weeks का है, seven weeks का है, वो select the size of the cannula according to date. अगर बड़ा है, तो फिर बड़ा cannula लेना पड़ेगा. अगर ओस close है, तो हमने छोटे cannula से start करना है.
ठीक है सो दीज आर द कैन्यूलाज विथ मार्किंग्स एंड नंबर्स एंड ईच कैन्यूला इज विथ कलर कोडिंग के क्लियर हाउ वी डू द प्रोसीजर ऑफ द एम वी ए सबसे पहले तो आपने पेशेंट से कंसेंट लेनी है कि हम आपका मैनुअल वैक्यूम प्रोसीजर कर रहे हैं अगर वो कंसेंट दे दिए तो उसके बाद यू हैव टू टेल हर कि एम टी हर ब्लेडर वो खुद एम टी करेगी अपना ब्लेडर बाथरूम में जाके और आस्क हर टू क्लीन हर वलवा विद द वाटर एंड सोप वो वाटर एंड सोप को क्लियर करके आ जाएगी देन कीप द पेशेंट इन द लिथॉटमी पोजिशन डू स्क्रबिंग एंड ड्रिपिंग आफ्टर देट डू द बायो मैनुअल पैल्विक एग्जामिनेशन टू असेस द साइज ऑफ द यूट्रस एंड सी विदर ओस इज ओपन और क्लोज एंड देन अप्लाई देन इंट्रोड्यूस द कसकोस स्पेकुलम टू वियोलाइज द सर्विक्स सो दिस होल मैनिकन्स द सिमुलेटर पेशेंट सिमुलेटर इज रेडी अप टू द स्पेकुलम इंसर्शन नाउ सी द स्पेकुलम इंसर्टेड दिस इज द कसकोस स्पेकुलम आर्ड्यूक्स स्पेकुलम एंड सेल्फ रिटर्निंग स्पेकुलम द सर्विक्स इज वियोलाइज आफ्टर देट वी डू द क्लिनिंग ऑफ द सर्विक्स दिस इज द नॉन टचिंग आपने क्लीन कर लिया सर्विस को विथ पायोडीन एंड देन इनफिल्ट्रेट द लोकल एनेस्थेटिक दिस इज द जायलोकेन फाइव पर वन परसेंट जायलोकेन वन परसेंट आई मेक मैंने इसको वन परसेंट में कन्वर्ट किया है बिकॉज एम्प्यूल इज ऑफ टू परसेंट एंड मैंने फाइव सी सी जायलोकिन लिए है और फाइव सी सी डिस्टिल वाटर लिए है उसको मैंने वन परसेंट में कन्वर्ट किया है बिकॉज फॉर द टिश्यू पेनीट्रेशन द वन परसेंट इज नेसेसरी आफ्टर देट यू आस्क द पेशेंट कि मैं आपको इंजेक्शन लगा रही हूँ ठीक है सो इंजेक्शन आपने कहाँ पर लगानी है इन द पेरा सर्वाइकल ब्लॉक इट्स द ट्वेल्व ओ क्लाक सी द टू सी सी एट द ट्वेल्व ओ क्लाक because we hold the upper lip of the cervix with wall selum that would be painful so 2 cc on the at 12 o'clock wait for 1 minute 1 minute ke baad aapne hold kar liya cervix ko theek to strengthen then give 4 cc of the xylocaine at the 2 o'clock push it bake karna hai blood nahi hai to fir aapne inject kar lena hai theek hai so so 2 uh, 4 cc on the 2 o'clock and 4 cc at the 10 o'clock so after infiltration of the xylocaine we put the cannula as this is the 7 weeks gestational amenorrhea so we select the size of 7 weeks 7 number cannula so this is the 7 number cannula see this this is the 7 number and this is coded with light brown k introduce this cannula inside the cervix once you reach at the fundus पुल एट वन सेंटीमीटर बाहर निकाल दें अटैच दिस चार्ज सिरेंज विथ दिस कैन्यूला होल्ड दिस कैन्यूला लाइक अ पेन रिलीज द बटन के बटन whatever inside the uterine cavity will suck inside and you will do your wrist will move not elbow so your movement should be on your wrist not on elbow right so once the uterine cavity become empty this syringe will fill up to the 60 cc 50 cc 40 cc whatever remove the cannula sometime cannula in its position we just remove this we remove the syringe kidney tray
put all your contents into the kidney tray charge again the syringe with well button charge it attach with this syringe release the button well button and then do it again the same procedure once the whole uterine cavity is completely empty uterine cavity completely empty ho gayi pin foamy uh discharge is seen here the frothing the bubbles are seen there you have to remove this cannula disassemble the cannula remove the wall selam see for any injury to the cervix remove the speculum and then after removing of the speculum uh, keep the patient in the same position in the supine position and counsel the patient for contraception if she uh, if she wants to contraception simultaneously we can put the iucd as a post abortion care and after that we have to disassemble this how we disassemble this put all these into bleach solution all these instruments keep in bleach solution remove the glass do the documentation thank you